Good morning, students. Today's topic is asexual reproduction in plants. There are two types in asexual reproduction in plants, and the first type is vegetative propagation and apomexis. First, we shall discuss about the vegetative propagation. So, this vegetative propagation is an asexual type of a reproduction in plants where the vegetative organ when the vegetative organs are involved to produce the new plant is called as a vegetative propagation so vegetative propagation it is a type of a asexual reproduction in the plant is called as a vegetative reproduction so here mainly the vegetative part of a plant will be involved to produce the new plant species okay there are different types okay so here the different vegetative organs are stem the different vegetative organs are stem root and leaves so in this class let's study about the stem so here the stem the first type is a runners so runners are the green or the soft green stems where the stem will creep on the ground okay first step you have to a stem only that is a runners okay where the stems will creep on the ground the example for the runners in the stem is cyanodum the example for the stem in the runners it is a cyanodum it is commonly called as a it is commonly called as a dead grass so here the diagram is that now here this is a stem part of a cyanodum where it is having the leaflets here this is a leaflet which is having the roots here now it is a stem this is a leaf and it is a root the stem is having the nodes and the internodes so this one is a node which is followed by the internodes and again the nodes now when there is node part when this node part when it come to contact for the soil then again it will start to develop into the new new plant so in any other tender it is stem this is uh, it is stem this is a uh, leaf and it is a root so stem only nodes and the internodes are the irritant even the node part this node part when it comes in contact with the stem it will develop into the new plant so it is uh, example is cyanoda which is commonly called as a dead grass and next type uh, next type it is a offset which is called as a the example is echinacea which is commonly called as a tender of a bengal so even in this the what the difference between this and this is it is it is also at the stem where the leaflets are it is bulb like structure where the leaves leaflets are bulb like structure and this is a root and even it is having the it is having the nodes and the in the node so this again ecarnia of the tender of banga it is present it is a fresh water species and here when the node come in contact to the to the stem then again it will also develop into the new plant species okay so this ecarnia it is commonly called as a tender of banga why it is called as a tender because here this uh, exarnia it's a exotic species so when um, when this uh, ecarnia it looks uh, it's it's quite beautiful so hence it was got exot uh, it was uh, been adopted by the india now it has become a weed in a lake so it has become a unwanted plant in a lake why because this ecarnia it is it is growing very uh, widely so it is there ecarnia and the plant in a lake on the lake nalli speed agi spread aagta ide so now this this plant has caused, has caused a headache now why because this plant is consuming all the oxygen of oxygen in that aquatic species hence it is called as a terror of bengal why it is called as a terror of bengal because it is a it is a it is a kind of a weed which is occupying the which is uh, occupying all the oxygen contains in that 
particular leg. So, for the offset, the example is echonia, which is commonly called as a terror of Bengal. So, next type it is a tuber. For the tuber, the example is it is a potato. So, we know that in the potato, it is having certain uh, dot like structures. Okay, we know that the potato is having the certain dot like structures. So, this kind of a structure it is not, it is it is nothing but a nodes. Okay, so when this nodes comes in contact to the soil, it will develop into the new plant species of a potato. Okay, potato only element not element not sirite. Our nodes plant our nodes soil in contact to banda na. Adu kora bando hamasa plant aage develop aarite. Okay, the example for the tubers it is a potato. Next exam next kind of a agitative propagation. In plant that is rhizome. The example is ginger or turmeric. So this uh, uh, it is a rhizome where the stem is growing underground. The stem is growing inside the soil. So we know that we know the structure of like uh, ginger. So here in the ginger we know that there will be having certain um, will be, there will be having certain lines on the on the ginger. And this uh, lines it is called as a so it is the nodal node region. It is a node region of a stem. When this uh, nodal region when it come in contact to the stem, then it will develop into the new plant species. So the example for the rhizome is ginger. So why we call it as rhizome? Because the stem part it is growing inside the soil. And next uh, type of uh, next type in the agitative propagation of stem that is a bulb. The examples are onion and the ginger. Why do we call it as a bulb? Because the onion and the garlic. For example, if we take off a uh, if we take a onion, so it is a uh, the stem part. So whatever the onion we are consuming, it is a stem part. So that the stem part it is bulged like structure. Okay, how it is? It is a bulged disc like structure which is present inside the soil. So this is present inside the soil and which will give rise to the which will give rise to the leaf, right? So this. Uh, when this bulb like structure when it come in contact with the soil then again it will develop into the new plant species so here it is the example of bulb is garlic and on garlic and onion so next example next type it is a sucker so for the sucker the example it is chrysanthemum so in this what happens is that so here it is a stem region of a plant so it which will grow where the leaves and the roots are growing. So this is a nodal region and it is followed by the internodes and again it is a nodal region. So here what the difference here is, so whatever the stem part it is there, whatever the stem part, so it is present, it is present above the soil. Now if you consider, if you consider this has a soil part, if you, if you consider it is has a, this has a soil part, then this part, so this one is the nodal, internodal region. So it is stem part. So here what the difference between the runners and the suckers is that so what is the stem it is present above the soil. So uh, when the stem may be there and the soil to above it, it is up to the soil. And again when this uh, the nodal region when it comes in contact to the soil again it will develop into the next kind of a plant species okay and again what happens again the stem it is just above the soil okay it is just above the soil when the nodal region again when it comes in contact with the soil then it will when it comes in contact with the soil it will grow into the new plant species so in the example for suckers is a trizan and next exam next part next type which is a stolen the example it's a strawberry. So here what happens is that so now it is a soil, it is a ground level of a soil where it is a leaf part and this one is a root part. Here the difference is that so 
here the stem is growing above the soil but now the stem will grow just below the soil the stem is growing below the soil and this stem when it comes to contact to the when it come the nodal region of the stem when it come contact to the soil then again it will develop into the new plantlet so really this one is a stem it is growing to develop to the new plant right so example is strawberry the only difference between the runners suckers and stolon is that so in the runners the stem part okay the stem part how it is now it is now this is a soil the stem part it is just present above the it is just present on the layer of a soil but here the stem part it is present above the soil in the suckers whereas in the stolon the stem part is present below the soil the examples are strawberry so these are the different types of a asexual reproduction so that is in the stem these are the different types so in the next class we shall study about the root the vegetative part of a root and the leaf with the example thank you